So here are the must-watch videos from the Wingsound.com community. Yeah, these videos come straight from you. You've signed up to Wingsound.com, you've uploaded your videos, and here are some of the ones that we think you must watch. Check them out. Paul Sereno explains how to quickly create a glissando within Logic Studio. What's happening guys? Um, I thought I'd do this video to demonstrate an easy way of doing a glissando, a piano glissando. That's basically running your finger up or down the keyboard on the white notes. But for those who just want a quick, easy um, solution to it, if you go to Options, go to Step Input Keyboard, you've got, you're presented with a, a virtual keyboard, so I'm happy with 32. All we have to do is draw a region in, pick where you want the glissando to start. So we're going to start from left to right, lower octave to higher octave. Click it and just gently scroll up. Let's go to C5. Let's open this region up in the MIDI editor. And here we can see we have our glissando. Let's uh, play it. What you may feel it is that it's too uniform, this is where the tweaking it comes in and I find that if you go to transform, humanize, you get a good, you can, you can get it just right. But if we just select and operate, it changes the feel to it. There you go guys, enjoy it. Darman 9 shows us how to set up and use the vocoder plugin within Cubase. Hi and thank you for joining me to this Cubase video tutorial about the vocoder. Right here I have a small vocals sample, let's hear it. Super nature! We're gonna open the vocoder as an insert effect. The vocoder you can find on other vocoder. The vocoder needs input and we're gonna give the vocoder an input using a MIDI track. So I opened here a MIDI channel and I can uh, push, press record on it and I'm gonna connect this MIDI channel to the vocoder using the, from the out, from the output of the MIDI channel. So we can open the vocoder just like a VST instrument. So we can hear the vocoder effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're gonna make some crazy stuff using the Cubase vocoder plugin. Cheeto Mosquito gives us an overview on how to split and consolidate your regions in Pro Tools. Now that we've created the crossfade between our two identical regions, we can consolidate the regions by double clicking them, holding shift to select multiple regions, and then choosing Edit, Consolidate. Now we've got a brand new region called CD Audio 01. Let's rename it. Playing this loop will give us the same uh, sound as the two regions crossfaded. And we'll leave it up to our sampler program to get a little finer. Last thing we'll do is we'll go to Regions and choose Export Regions as Files. This will export the currently selected region. We'll choose the AIFF format. At a bit depth of 16-bit, we're going to use a sampler that will take advantage of this. And what we want here for format is stereo, so a single stereo file. And we'll choose export. Now remember you could always upload your own videos directly on the wingsound.com. Yeah, and if you have a video that we must absolutely have to see right away, just email it directly to us, Rick or Matteo at wingsound.com. We'll see your video right away and we could be featuring it on the must watch, so send them over.